Hi there and welcome back to the first marketing school. In this video, we are going to see how you can get a page URL in, uh, Mat uh, in Metabase uh, with Matomo. So typically how you can get this report within Metabase. Uh, this is inspired from this given uh, article and it consists in fact of linking two tables. So most of the time you will look through the Matomo log visit table, but in this specific case, in fact, uh, you have no data about pages within this table. In fact, you need to look uh, through the log action and the log link uh, visit action. And uh, so in fact, the data that you, that you want to get at the end of the day are in fact the link between two tables, which are this one and this one. So let's uh, let's get started. So in order to start to work, we need the Matomo log link visit action table and the Matomo log action. So we are going to do so. So I'm just going to go here in Metabase, okay, like this. Yep. And I'm going to uh, query my database. So here I strongly recommend you to take a small database in order to, to test. Um, so we said it was the log link visits. So log link visits, which is a uh, log link visit action. Okay, uh, so here we have it. And then uh, when you try to do something a bit more complicated, like show in the editor, uh, you need to join the data. So in fact, you need to say, okay, I want two tables to be uh, combined. So here you are going to select uh, the other one, which is the uh, the action, simple action, so the Matomo log action. And then you need to indicate what is the, uh, let's say the, column by which you would like to link the two. So in fact, here it's about uh, linking the, I think it was the ID. So I'm just gonna uh, pick it up over here. So it's the ID, okay, um, ID action URL that I need to link with the ID action, okay? And as a result, if you already start to look at uh, what it's getting out of it, you are getting you start to get actually those uh, information which are uh, very valuable but it's not yet finished um, so next thing is about uh, filtering those data because you just want to query one single website and you want as well not to get all the action because this uh, given condition and those given tables are giving you all the actions not only the action url and if you look uh, through the Matomo's documentation, you will see that's uh, some of the type. And in our case, the one that we are interested in is the page URL. So it corresponds to type equal one because you don't want the outlink, you don't want the download, you don't want the page title. So uh, you go over here on filter and you say, okay, just don't want. So I decide is equal to one. And I want also to get uh, the type just a type to more log action and you want the type equal to one. Okay, then you can add your filter. Um, then you can start to visualize a little bit more. Okay, uh, so still not what we want, but then we can summarize it. And when we summarize it, we want to group those data according to their name. So ID action name, this one. And if I go like this, I'm getting uh, 4, 4, 9, and 2, which correspond to the full uh, the full time. So 4, 4, 9, and 2. This is not defined, so there was no value. So that's the reason why it's not pushed. But here you got it. So now you get your standard report for page URL within a metadata. Thanks for watching.